so hi and welcome back I'm out on a sunny Thursday afternoon and I was unable to do a video for you Sunday because things things were just not good I had a bit of a bad couple of days and I've got some Silbera S25 now I took the film a couple of years ago and I developed it a couple of years ago and I looked back at the scans and they were just awful they were all one side was was all smudgy and blurry and I thought there's something wrong here so I dug out the negatives again and rescanned them and I didn't realize just how nice this film is um, really really pleased with it really got some lovely contrast in there and it was a daylight today that I was out photographing quite bright but slightly overcast and uh, we went to a place called Houghton House which I'll show you on a map we also went to a, an old church in Cloppo and I think it's called St Mary's and uh, they say it used to be used for witchcraft and all sorts of things and I, I don't really know the history and I don't think that really happened. It was one of those urban legend myth type things. Um, we took some photographs there and I ended up where I was going to take you in a few weeks time, a place called Sandy, and I've got some shots of the trees. Now bearing in mind I was running at 25 ISO, I don't know how I got these shots unless I was using the flash on the EOS 100 that I had and I think that's how I managed to overcome the fact it was so dark where I was photographing. Anyway, I'm going to go through the photographs with you now. Um, I don't think the film's available anymore. It was, a, it was a, like a special edition one, but it was really good. I'm really pleased with it. Anyway, enjoy. Okay, so let's take a look at the Silberia S25, the 25 ISO film. Now, as I say, I went to three locations. I first went to a place called Houghton House, and then we went to Clop Hill, St Mary's Old Church, and then we went to a place called uh, Sandy Heath, and there's some really, really weird trees. But the funny thing about those trees is, the ones I'm gonna show you aren't the weirdest ones. I didn't photograph them, because they were kind of like in a too dark a place to photograph. But I'll start with the uh, Houghton House ones, and I've, you know, I've never seen a good photograph of Houghton House Every time I've seen them online and different like that, they're very, they're very, you know, I don't know. It's, it's really one of those places hard to, hard to photograph. Now, looking at it like this, there doesn't look like there's any much problems with it. It's nice contrast and that, but I, but when you zoom in, you can see on the side there's dust marks and everything. Now, I don't know if that's to do with me. Um, so I literally took them out of the sleeves and then I've re-basically scanned them. Um, the sky's quite nice and uh, it's got quite a nice tone to it <clears throat> and so of the actual walkthrough because it goes walks obviously through to the front to the back and then it it looks down a hill okay and again I think I'm I don't know where I was focusing on this because this isn't sharp at all um, unless that piece yeah no it's just it's all the marks on here as well that looks like a fingerprint that's awful um, one thing I did know about the notice about the film was it's very thin. It's not like uh, an FP4 or a Foma pan and stuff. The actual film was really, really quite thin, which isn't to me isn't isn't the best thing. Uh, I did one of the U200s uh, about the same time, and again that was really thin. The film was. <clears throat> now we're actually inside Houghton House. You can see, in, obviously, in the distance, um, these are all the fields and stuff. Um, looking over. Um, towards Cranfield I think it would be from there but uh, you can see it's the tonal range is really nice I love it I really like the tonal range of this film and um, it's a pity it's only a uh, it was only like a limited edition one that they did and I think it'd make a really 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 nice film in fact I think I prefer this to the Roly 25 ISO film now we're at Clop Hill Church and look at it I mean this is lovely I mean if I zoom in you can just see that's beautiful that's really really quite crisp that's really crisp and sharp that is and what does that say that sign to the glory of God that's great and um, <clears throat> I've skipped about it because I didn't actually I never seem to scan things in the right order so I it kind of skips about so you know the next shot might not be of the church it may be something of leaves or something like that no this is the side of the church <clears throat> And I think it must be made out of some sort of sandstone because when it, it has this kind of straight, it's a really strange texture. And when you photograph it, it looks kind of weird, you know, but when you zoom in, you see just how sharp that is along here. It's just, you know, yeah, it's a great film and tiny, tiny grain as well. 
This one, I got the exposure wrong. Bearing in mind, I'm taking it on a Canon EOS 100. I don't know why, but yeah, it's the exposure's wrong on that one completely. And again, this one is back to Houghton House. And I was trying to get a shot down like the corridor where you walk to get to the house. I know for a fact it was about a 30th of a second and I've got camera shake on that. And I had to look at this twice when I was looking at it as, as a negative and suddenly realised there's two horses there side by side, not just one horse with a reflection. But if you zoom in, you can see just how sharp the mane is of this horse. Now, bearing in mind, this is bog standard 28 to 80 zoom lens, 3.5, 5.6. So it's not going to be the sharpest of lenses, but still you can see the potential of this film with a lens like that. So this one I actually posted on my Instagram and uh, my Instagram is pro underscore film photography. Now it's a bit of a joke. I'm not a pro film photographer. It's just the fact I was back in the day and that's the kind of tongue in cheek thing. But I post this one. It's really, really quite nice. and I, I like the tone. Now bearing in mind this is yellow. This has been yellow. It isn't white, um, but like the danger of death. So this one was taken with a flash gun. I was just, I think I was in among the trees and these leaves are there and I thought oh that make a nice shot so you've got quite a nice tonal range between all the different types of leaves and the two different colors or different shades of the leaves so that come up quite well and now these are the trees now this is a sand heath and uh, obviously the trees the sand gets blown away and you get the bottoms of the trees exposed now these aren't the best ones there are ones across the road far better than this but there was no light on them whatsoever I can't for the life of me remember the exposure of this, but I, I mean, it's just, I don't know, I really, really like it. It's, you know, and they're really, really nice and sharp as well. And the sun was coming in from behind, which is quite interesting. And again, these you use like as a step to go up to the top of the heath. And um, again, very pleasing. I'm going to go there again and do some reshoots and stuff of, of these trees because they are just so spectacular but i want to get a, like a, a better shot something that's really great <gasps> oh amazing sort of thing but these ones aren't quite like that and the last few this one when we went, went out of the actual church and around the side of the wall again this one's quite flat um it may i don't know what i did i i I assume the exposure was because of all the brightness around the outside of the church. I don't know, but it was it clearly is uh, underexposed, but it's still quite a nice shot. And we're walking back down the hill from the actual church and I saw this and I thought the the corn looked really, really cool. And you know, the different going from the darkness to the light to the dark to the light. And it just really looked quite nice. It, ha it hasn't really worked as an image, but it's still got a nice thing and perhaps if I cropped it differently it would look really really nice and this one is on landscape rather than portrait and um, yeah that's I, I don't know I quite like it I think I perhaps zoomed in slightly as well with this one and now for the my favorite shot of the actual trip was this one um, I, I like photographs you can walk into and there's a little pathway and you can walk straight into the church and it's and you've got the sign that's out of focus i was too close to, for that to be in focus so i was actually focusing infinite distance on the actual church itself so but i just like the tonal range across it it's just i know i just really really like it but you can see the difference you can get between the different shots and the different exposures of the walls from the previous one where this one okay it's it's exposed slightly differently and when i put it through um, processing you see i've done it slightly lighter as well but again this is my favorite shot of the actual actual shoot anyway don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video